multiple break-ins are a problem in many neighborhoods, we found one place where they are weighed down. It is a community in downtown Orlando that butts right up to busy Colonial Drive. The difference in Lake Eola Heights? the people who live there. Yeah, those neighbors are taking action and getting crime results, and they told News Six's Eric Von Anken, you can do it too in your own neighborhood. In fact, one has been at, no, that would just, I just hide them, I just hide them back here. You, you can't see it from the street? No, that's the whole point. Janet Walker is clever, hiding her neighbor's packages to keep the curious and criminal away. But more than that, she's motivated. Tim and Nelson live here, Mike lives upstairs, Tara lives over there, Mary lives over there. The next house is, um, the next house is... Do you, uh, you know all these people's I do, names? I really do know all these people. She's the block captain for the Lake Eola Heights Neighborhood Watch Group. How hard is it to walk over and pick up the, the newspaper that maybe was delivered on Sunday and it's still laying there on Monday? How hard is that? Go pick it up and hide it around the corner somewhere. Go pick up the packages. Yes, it helps that people and pets come outside here, but it takes personalities and perseverance, she says. For a neighborhood watch to work, neighbors must want to watch. To you guys, it means something. You have to make the effort, and you do. Right, if you don't, if you don't do it, it's not gonna happen. You can't just come home, lock yourself in your house every day after work and expect things to you know, go your way. Many of them have installed the Ring video doorbell and share what they see. Their Facebook group has almost 3,000 members who talk and post, and they get together regularly for block parties. As a result of your participation, we have seen a drastic reduction in crime. The Orlando Police Department is a driving force behind the city's neighborhood watch groups. Officers own areas, get to know neighbors, and teach them how to take care of each other. We help you, you help us, and it's it makes everything way better. The chief says crime came down 18% last year here in Lake Eola Heights and break-ins dropped by 73%. Lake Eola Heights is getting results. They are doing it right. It should be a model for other neighborhoods who are trying to do the same. So maybe you're saying right now, what if you don't live in a community like this? People don't come outside in your neighborhood, maybe in unincorporated Orange County or Lake County or Volusia or Brevard or Flagler County. Well, Janet here says just do something to get people outside, a small block party maybe in your front yard, maybe a breakfast one morning. She says as soon as the neighbors get to know each other, she says that's when they invest in each other. In downtown Orlando, Eric Von Anken getting crime results, News 6. Yeah, and by the way, Orlando's police chief says the city beautiful came in number one in the nation for its neighborhood watch program. That's awesome. Hosting 100 block parties so neighbors can get to know one another. It is so important to know your neighbors, Matters. make that connection. You know, you know, if yeah. someone is suspicious. I love a yeah. nosy neighbor. <laughs> I really do.